Good morning, North America. Another non-farm payroll Friday. This is like uh, my, oh, I don't know, 1,000th non-farm. Of course, back in the 90s, it didn't mean as much as it does today, although you could argue that it's losing momentum as far as meaningful stuff. Anyway, that's an aside. Let's look at these charts and quickly just um, think about where we're going to go with this. 190 is kind of the consensus uh, number. So we're like, this is weak if it comes in below 140. And if it's below 140, we're going to use euro. We're going to buy euro, sell dollars. And if it's strong, let's say it's above 220, uh, we're going to buy dollar yen dollar yen because of this risk off period here the market's going to be short a little bit dollar yen and euro the same thing so weak non farms we buy euro maybe just through the highs here will give us a little bit of a juice but looks like they may take that out earlier and strong number we buy dollar yen for a move back up to uh, 110 Keep in mind that 110.20 is the 200-day moving average. That would be an, a normal place for the move to end 100 points from where it is um, on most type of releases. As always, on uh, news-generated moves, you just got to be sharp, have your plan set before the news, and also be ready to not trade. So if this thing comes in at 190, just don't bother, right? And then let's see where the muck is and see where the muddle is, and, and then we move on. One last thing to mention, ISM manufacturing is 90 minutes after non-farms. It's not a huge number, um, but it will create some extra vol. That's uh, 4 p.m. Swiss time. So 10 a.m. New York time, 9 a.m. Chicago. So, pretty straightforward, strong number, we like dollar yen, weak number, we like euro, and we'll see how this thing goes. Good luck, people, good weekend, and I'll see you all Monday. Bye.